Good morning. It is 6.15. My nose is less clogged this morning, so that's good. It's, uh, even by this lake, everything's completely dry because it's been a breezy night. I slept pretty good. I got a message from Hollywood last night right after I closed out the video that um, they were had stayed at the Trail Magic too long and they were hit stopped at Blue Lake, which is three miles back. So he said they'd catch up this morning. So I'm not going to get in a hurry to get going because I'm give them time to get up and get caught up because I think it's only like nine and a half or ten miles from here where we get off the PCT and start this reroute on forest roads around the fire. So we're planning to be together when we start that. So I'm going to go ahead and have some coffee and slowly get packed up and then get to walking. All righty. Man, I had um, a pack of... So there's these Land Lakes hot chocolate packs, and they're different flavors. There's like a chocolate raspberry and a vanilla one that I love. And a lot of times they're individual packs at the grocery store. They're usually about a dollar, sometimes a little more than a dollar. Walmart, where we resupply, they're 72 cents. So I had to have some. I just had my coffee with one of the white chocolate, um, hot chocolate packs in it. It was so good. And this is a lovely morning because it's cool, dry breeze. Everything I have is completely dry. There's no moisture in the air, which everything has been so humid lately. It's just nice. It is about 12 minutes after 7. I've got almost point two to walk back to the trail around this lake. Um, so I'm going to head back there and then get to walking north. Uh... I don't know where Hollywood and CC are right now. I don't know if they're how early they got up. Um, I'll try to just run into them in that first couple miles. If not, I'll Garmin him later if I don't hear from him. Uh, but either way, I think we'll probably meet up at the Forest Service Road 88, I think it is, or 80, whatever, where we have to start the reroute detour. So, I had a great night. So even though there were people in earshot around the other side of the lake, this is the first time I kind of camped alone. And sometimes it's nice. I don't know why. Just extra feeling of freedom. Um, and this beautiful lake. So it's been a great morning so far. Now we've got to hike, though. I'm sure that'll ruin it. <laughs> okay, it's still kind of cool. It's about 10 minutes till 10. Um, this is the first time in a while there has not been a lot of wind noise. So I thought I'd take this time to update you a little bit on some gear issues. So I lost both baskets of my trekking poles. One one evening, one the next morning. And both times, as soon as I realized it, I walked back a ways and never found it. So I hate that those were left on trail. I guess my only saving grace is I have picked up a good bit of trash and several trekking pole baskets and pack them out along this trail. So hopefully someone will pack mine out for me too. Um, my pillow has holes in it. I had this problem with a couple pillows on the AT. The one I have now has lasted a long time and I knew it had holes. I put it into some water in the hotel back in Cascade Locks. And the problem is it's got lots of holes. Somehow like the, the fuzzy part of the Sea to Summit pillows just start to get I don't know, a whole bunch of little holes in, in the general area. At one point, my pillow on the AT had like thousands of holes all in it. And then they just leak slowly like that. So, the last several nights, I've just had to re-blow my pillow up a bunch of times. I did stick a piece of duct tape over like the general area where some of the holes were, but it didn't seem to really do much. But there was nowhere in Cascade Locks to get a pillow. There's no outfit or anything like that. Now... The worst and most important issue. Um, in Cascade Locks, I decided to do the integrity test on my um, uh, platypus water filter. And it failed miserably. I watched the, the video on platypus's website a couple times, redid it a couple times. And basically it says my filter's not working. Um, there was nowhere to replace that filter. And one of the things that's, I don't know how I feel about this. It says that if you drop the filter or it freezes, they break. Now, the way we clean the Sawyer Squeeze and that one is you got to tap it real hard on some 
something like a stick or a rock or a stump or something as you're back flushing or between back flushes to get uh, like all the junk out. It's like very well known with the Sawyer, you just beat the heck out of it as you're right before or between back flushes and it gets all the dirt out. Apparently that's not okay with, I don't know. So it's gotta be working because to some level, just maybe not 100%, because I've been drinking water out of it for a long time. I don't know when it would have stopped working. Um, Hollywood had done the integrity test on his more than a month ago, maybe six weeks ago, and it failed miserably. He did it again yesterday, and it seemed to be fine. But I've tested mine several times, and it fails every time. So I need a new water filter. I'm hoping that it's doing something and filtering out most things. Maybe just it's not as good as it should be but um i do have like some tablets but i don't have that many of them like in an emergency but i'm gonna keep using it and pretend that it works until i can find me a new one but that's just some of the gear things i'm dealing with um one thing i dealt with a lot at the end of the at was issues with my pack and my gossamer gear pack i had to re-sew a couple things and it was just kind of coming apart um I had had more miles on it before the AT. It was probably just towards the end of its life. Um, but this pack still seems to be holding up. There's a couple of abrasion spots like on the lower back. Other than that, it's pretty much like new. Most of all my gear is good. But um, those things I've shared with you, the poles I'm not worried about. The pillow, eh. If I can find one, I'll get one. But I don't know. I'm probably... I should be done with those Cedar Summit pillows. They just don't, well, I would say they don't last, but I guess I can't say that. I've had this this one for 2,000 good miles. Um, so maybe they are, they do last just fine. I've just used used it beyond its life, but they're so expensive. The one I have, I think 60 or 70 bucks for a blow up pillow. So I need to find something to keep my the cricks out of my neck when I'm sleeping. But that's just an update for now. Still windy, starting to warm up a little bit, but as you can see, I'm still layered up. Today is the morning of the 29th, and interestingly, I just signed a trail register right there. I'm off the PCT a few steps, going over to our picnic table now. But I just signed a trail register. The last signatures were 827, and there were a bunch of them. So no one signed it yesterday. That's really odd. I'm not sure. If there was, yeah, that's weird for no PCT hikers to sign a log for a whole day. But here's a picnic table. I'm going to sit down and have a break for a bit. Um, just to give some time for CC and Hollywood to catch up. There's a minivan over here with Florida license plates just parked off the side. That's a long way. Florida to Washington State. That was a drive. But I guess now it's not too cold but it is windy but I'm gonna have a break for a bit okay so I'm a little over three miles out from Forest Service Road 88 which is where the fire closure pretty much begins just past there but the out before it is Road 88 so my plan was to wait there Hopefully CC and Hollywood aren't too far behind as I have had cell service here on and off and trying to look at the stuff for this closure coming up. I noticed I got some virtual trail magic, I think yesterday. So thank you very much, Paula S for sending some support. And um, it will, it's definitely greatly appreciated because as we're getting further up north, our budgets, our budgets are wearing thin. I mean, rest assured, we're still going to, we have plenty of money to finish. It's just, uh, we're on fumes, so to speak. Um, had about a mile and a half left to get to this road. I was able, I had pretty good service there, so I was able to uh, down, uh, open up the PCTA website, and they've also amended the reroute to basically match the one that we got from Reddit. So the official PCTA reroute is now the same one that we're hearing people are getting turned away from. So I don't know. We'll have to see what, just see when we get there, I guess.
Okay, just came out on the road. It looks like the trail goes on the road for just a few feet to a little parking area. And there's a big old snowy mountain right ahead. Okay, here is the other side of the trail. Looks like there's a bunch of caution tape that's either someone has ripped down or has fallen down. And then let's see what the sign said. Fire 86, please leave area. Well, that's a little over a month, or not a month, a little over three weeks old. We know that that's no longer the case in this area, but can't go any further. That's where the trail's closed. So I'm gonna find me a spot to chill out in the shade and spread my stuff out here and wait for my friends. Okay, I've been here a little over 30 minutes. I had my lunch. I was kind of wondering if there's, there's any traffic on this road. Then a little bit ago, a truck came by, but I'm kind of sitting like kind of hidden. <laughs> So they kept going, but once they went by, I realized it was a forestry service truck. Had I known that, I would have stopped him and tried to confirm whether or not we can walk this way. There are some hikers coming now. It's not my people, but there's some people. Um, interesting. To see, I'm interested to see what they do. I've been here a little over an hour. Me and these other guys just been talking for a bit. These cars just came and stopped right at the trailhead. Got out and rest, messed around for a minute and took off. So we were like, well, I wonder if they dropped off some trail magic. I walked over here to check. Nothing. All right, it is 3.50. We're all, apparently she's vomiting. Talking about his ear cheese. Oh, that is gross. But either way, we're all here, and we are starting our road walk detour. And it's going to be lovely. Absolutely lovely. Here's our trail for the next several miles still. This is more like it, definitely an unused um, old road, much preferable to um, the paved roads. All right, we got here. We're right on the shore of this water. There's some more hikers back there. And we have this spot here. We got a fire, fire ring. Um, I'm gonna go right here. Hollywood's right here. And I think CC Grace is gonna eventually get her stuff out right over there. And we got a waterfall we'll go look at in just a bit. That is a pretty good sized waterfall. All right, I'm gonna tell y'all good night before it gets any darker out here. Um, Hollywood and CC and Fireball are all here at, at camp. She won't come over here. She's on the ground stretching. She does, she's thinking about putting her tent up, but she can't. Um, so it's been a good day. We're part of the way through this reroute and I'm um, looking forward to finishing up the reroute and get back on the actual PCT later tomorrow. So have a good night and we'll see you tomorrow.